Welcome into another edition of The Butcher versus The Dance Instructor presented by LB's Meat Market. We're uh, winding this thing down. We've got this edition, and then in two weeks, we'll preview the Super Bowl, and then we'll bid you adieu until the next football season sometime in uh, in the fall of 2024. But we still have a couple of games to talk about, to uh, to preview here on the big show, one that is brought to you by LB's Meat Market, 2008 University Avenue in Oxford, right across the street from Kroger. Let Kroger be your landmark. Head over to LB's, get uh, get yourself stocked up. Best selection of beef, pork, chicken, house-made sausages, uh, ribs, uh, the stuffed jalapenos, the stuffed mushrooms, the bacon-wrapped asparagus, the lunches on Thursdays. It's all there at LB's Meat Market. And after Isageddon or Snowmageddon or whatever you want to call it, I suspect a lot of people are eager to get out and about some this weekend and uh, grill and do some things like that. So, um, Do we they, have good weather? Do we have good weather? It's supposed to rain on this Friday night, and then yeah. the weather's going to be, look, is it good? No. Yeah. Is it better, better than what it was? Yeah. Yes. We're not going to be frozen in. So at that point, I'll, I'll, after a week of being unable to move, I'll just take, I'll, I'll mark, hey, we oh, can, yeah. you can walk outside as a positive thing. Yeah. We uh, we tried to open last Thursday and I mean, the parking lot was three inches of ice. I mean, it was like, it was brutal. And so our, our truck actually didn't make it. It got uh, stuck in a ditch uh, on Highway 6. So it didn't, our truck didn't even make it. So, And we just watched uh, the people coming out of Kroger. And it was like that. Like there, there was no – they just slid down the hill. Like it was uh, – okay. uh, we're just not – I guess we're just – us Mississippians aren't co – are, can cope with the ice and the snow for sure. Well, you know, if you paid attention to the, the weather – in the days leading up to that. And I did um, because I, I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to help much because I'd had my surgery. I was on crutches and whatnot. Um, everything said snow, 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 snow up until literally the time that the weather rolled in and we just didn't get the snow. But instead of getting five to eight inches of snow, we got, I don't know what, uh, two, three inches of ice and yeah. then maybe an inch of snow, I think. But it was, I think it was sleeting first before it snowed. Like it I really think we had a hard sleet that went to the ground first, and then the snow there's, came on top. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I was in here listening to it, and I told I told Laura, my wife, Caroline's mom, I said, "That's not snow." Yeah. <laughs> and and then you know, and it just was banging the 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 roof and stuff, and you're like, "That's." That's sleet, and it's sleeted yeah. for a long time. Yeah, I mean, like four or five hours. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty, uh, it, it was almost like because we, uh, I tried to stay open as much as possible on Sunday. I ended up closing the store at six, and it started at like four o'clock. And it, by six o'clock, it was pretty already pretty sketchy. And it was just that was two hours. So, uh, but yeah, <laughs> snow again, nice again, whatever. Uh, we don't we don't want any more of those Geddens ever again. Are you uh, is LB's back stocked up now? Or we're yeah, we're we're good to go. I uh, I uh, I just got done stocking the meat case. Uh, so everything is three dollars off this weekend. So in the freezer, so everything three dollars off in the freezer. So we've got plenty of sausages, uh, fish. So uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of these people have gone through their deep freeze because they were frozen in. Like I had a couple customers that came in on Tuesday, and he's like. We live on the county road, and this is our first time really to feel comfortable like getting out of our driveway because the you know the roads aren't going to get touched on those outskirt county roads. So, um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's good to get out. Uh, I, I I got stir crazy. I can't. I mean, like I, I I'm, I'm thinking back of COVID, you know, where you couldn't leave or couldn't go anywhere, like and, yeah. and like that. It just. <laughs> That last uh, that that four days of uh, it made made me start crazy. I, I was glad to get back to work. What'd you guys get in Fayetteville, Caroline? It got like three inches of snow. I mean, it got icy, but then it warmed up here. Like it got yeah. above freezing. We were out for three days Monday, or no, we did not even have school Monday, but we were like snowed in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Went back Thursday, Friday, and then this past Monday. We had like a ice storm, they called it, and it was nothing. But we did not have class Monday. Yeah. But now, like, it's like in the forties. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's 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 like sixty here today. It's a, it's it's I think it's supposed to rain, like I said, and then I don't know. I've looked at the forecast. There's no snow or ice in the forecast in the next two weeks, which is good. I've we we've gotten to where we get one of these every two years. We get yeah. we get a like an ice bomb once every two years. So yeah. I went to I, I flew to Vegas last weekend. So like coming home from Vegas and then coming back and I'm sitting here. It looked like a, a t- it looked like Breckenridge, Colorado. Like all the uh, ice the roads were clear and there was just a bunch of ice everywhere. I mean, it was just literally looked like a uh, you know a Colorado town that got iced out. Oh, I will recommend the Spear in Las Vegas. Is oh, unbelievable. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's unbelievable. It's I mean like um the it's kind of weird because they are kind of like promoting like AI and like you living forever. And I'm like, not. I, I mean, when I die, I die. Like, you know, we're not taking Greg's brain out of his head and put him in a, a alternate body, and so he can live longer. So no, it just was kind of weird. But it was a nature show, so it was like, it's unbelievable. But yeah, I'd recommend going the spear uh, and go get on the lower level. Don't go up top because it's uh, uh, it, it, if you're afraid of heights, it gets pretty. I mean, it got, it got pretty sketchy going up there. It was that steep. Yeah, I, I've been on the outside of it. I've not been inside it, but I'd like to. I'd like to check it out for sure. All right. Speaking of Vegas, the Super Bowl is in Vegas in two weeks. So the teams that make it to Vegas will be determined on Sunday. Greg, I got good news and bad news for you. The good news is that you went three and one last week. Oh yeah. wow! You had a good week. The bad news is Caroline also went three and one last week. So. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline has clinched the coveted LB, the LB's cup. She has yeah. she has won. Caroline cannot be caught mathematically at this point. Caroline is 97 and 85 this season. Six God, that's so solid. That's Greg, so is, solid. Greg is 91 and 91. So, Greg, what you have to play for is the ability to finish above 500. But uh, Caroline has won the championship. She is the LB's cup champion for 2023 so caroline congratulations to you a hard-earned victory one of the greatest accomplishments of your life the trophy yeah. i'm sure will, will yeah, sit the, the, very the, half gallon, the, the half gallon uh gray goose uh yeah. to the winner yeah <laughs> the, the trophy will sit in a very prominent place i'm sure in your uh your apartment there in uh in Fayetteville be something that that you will look at fondly for the rest yeah of the you can update your resume you can update the resume yes. like, you know yeah. I'm I'll actually, you know, I'm actually a pretty good handicapper here I went over uh, almost uh over 20 over 30 percent here you mm-hmm. could end up Caroline if you get all three games right remaining you could end up 185, which would be a hell of an accomplishment. 15 That's exactly over. 25%. I mean, if you're winning at a 25% clip in college football, I mean, that's yeah. you don't have to definitely put that on your profile. Yeah, for sure. All right, we'll we'll uh, we'll dive into the games here real quick. There's just two of them. We'll start uh, with the AFC Championship game on uh, Sunday at 2 p.m. It's the Kansas City Chiefs uh, making a road trip. Kansas City on the road in a playoff game, something that doesn't happen very often at all. Kansas City is at Baltimore to face the Ravens. The Ravens, Caroline, you get to go first since you won last. Well, y'all both won last week, but you're the champs. We'll let you go first. Uh, Kansas City, a three-and-a-half-point underdog uh, in uh, in Baltimore. Mm. Should be a really good game. Like I think oh, be- it's probably the two best teams left in the NFL yeah. going at each other. You've got uh, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Lamar Jackson's playing at an elite level yeah. right now. The Ravens defense is terrific. You've got uh, and they've got some home. sneaky good weapons. You've got some sneaky good weapons on the Ravens, like with the uh, I think likely is that the tight end that that. that- Leah, yeah, likely, and then that Zay Flowers. I mean, he's a right. almost kind of like a Tyreek Hill, you know, kind of. Uh, so and Mark, and, really Mark Andrews is back. He's kind of Lamar Jackson's yeah. security blanket. But here's the thing: you got to think about this. If you're the NFL, if you're, you're the, the NFL, NFL, you want the Chiefs to win. Oh, want, absolutely. You want the Chiefs in Las Vegas because you want to be able to have Taylor flying back from her 
concert in Tokyo and making it back just in time to see her beloved Travis play for the big silver trophy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so there's a lot there. So what do you think, Caroline? Kansas City's a three and a half point dog. I'm going, I'm a marketing major over here. So I'm thinking about the marketing of <laughs> the, of the NFL and I'm taking the Chiefs. There's no way. Like they will make so much money if the Chiefs go to the Super Bowl and they have Taylor Swift there. That's like they're getting they're getting one game closer to having Taylor Swift as like the halftime performance of the Super Bowl. She wouldn't be the halftime performance. That's already been determined, but she'd be. No, there. I'm saying they're getting closer to oh. having her down there. Yeah, She's probably yeah. Never. yeah. I'm going with the Chiefs. All right, Greg. Uh, she's going to take the Chiefs and take her Chiefs and three and a half points. She gets the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, all of the the the, the conspiracy theories, and three and a half points. That's that's a, that's a pretty package to to put under the tree. Man, that is a real good package. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to do this uh, pick for my mom because she will be uh, really happy if I took the Chiefs, and I'm going to make her happy. I'm going to go with the Chiefs, too. All right, you're both going with the Chiefs. Because it's just too good to be true. Like, you know, like, it's just. Yeah. Yeah. I... And, and they, they kind of doubted the Chiefs this year a little bit. They had a little doubt, uh, like, like, is Mahomes still good? Like, there's a little doubt there. So, I I'm think a level. To... I'm a level with you guys. For me, this is going to be the litmus test for the NFL, and here's why: Baltimore is the best team in the league. They've been for the sure. best team in the league. They've been the best team in the league certainly for the last six to eight weeks. Uh, they are better than the Chiefs. They are at home. They should win the game. If they don't win this game, I'm going to start buying into the theory that this is scripted I, i'm i'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna just gonna start watching wrestling again yeah yeah i i might start watching monday night raw on wwe or whatever if if the if the ravens don't win this game because they should yeah right. i just the defense their defense i mean Clowney is playing uh you know crazy level i mean they've got roquan smith the uh the guy from uh, line the linebacker from LSU that's there that the Saints should have taken Patrick Queen. Uh, yeah, I mean, just yeah. that. I mean, top to bottom, it just feel. I just, yeah. I would be really shocked if if Baltimore doesn't win by two touchdowns. I agree. So we're gonna find out. All right, the other game, it's the evening game, five thirty, the NFC Championship game. It's the Detroit Lions uh, heading out west to play the San Francisco 49ers. Greg, the 49ers are a seven point favorite over. The boys from Motor City. Well, I'm I'm gonna go Detroit Lions here. I just uh, it's a good story, you know. Jared Goff getting traded and uh, the guy uh, Stafford winning the Super Bowl and you know kind of literally uh, reinvented his character in Detroit. And uh, obviously, I think he likes Detroit a lot, and Detroit likes him. And uh, I'm a big Dan Campbell guy for some. I mean, I just like. Just like how, like I mean, uh, you know, on, on a professional level that 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 they're coaching, you know, he almost kind of still is a cut player, like you know, still on their level. You know, I just I like the Dan Campbell uh, story too, and I just I'm kind of pulling for Detroit. You know, they've always kind of you know hadn't had a cup playoff win, and you know who knows whenever you get that monkey off your back and get some momentum, uh, maybe it goes through. But San Francisco's be going to be tough. I mean, you know, Chris McCaffrey. Uh, but I, I like the points here and uh, maybe a little uh, uh, splash on the money line. Yeah, I, I, that's interesting. All right, Caroline, he's going to take Detroit, get the seven points against the Niners. What about you? Mm, I'll take the 49ers. Okay, you're going to take the 49ers and lay the points. I, I think I'm with you on this. I think that the Niners are going to be able to create problems for Detroit. Um. Golf. Home field advantage. Home field advantage helped out Detroit a lot the last couple of games for sure. It did. You know the problem for for Detroit in this matchup is that Golf is so stationary as a quarterback, and that pass rush is going to get the tee off on him. And I think they're going to get to him. And then the other problem is Detroit gives up big plays, and San Francisco has a penchant for making big plays. And I kind of think this one gets away late, and the the Niners. I, I, you know what? I, there's a good bet that I think a good prop bet is a defensive touchdown because I think Detroit's going to try to throw those quick outs or quick slants 
and I swear a linebacker is going to jump one of those routes and it'll be a pick six. I think, I think that's a good prop bet. It's uh, it, it should be a fun Sunday of uh, of games. People who want to grill and get ready and enjoy uh, enjoy the NFL Championship Sunday, Greg. If they want to come to LBs, what do they, what what do they, how do they get in touch with you if they want to make an order or whatnot? We'll always call the store. The uh, phone's working. Uh, we had some problems with AT and T, uh, which they are probably the worst company in America. Um, but other than that, we'll definitely not get a plug to AT and T uh, anymore because they just are not good at their job. So they finally fixed the phone. The phone works 662-259-2999. Uh, we've got Instagram going. I'm, I'm going to post some pictures of some steaks and some stuff in the freezer. Everything in the freezer is $3 off this weekend. So we're kind of having a little, kind of a little clean out the freezer, uh, uh, pre, uh, uh, pre-freezer pre uh, sale. So um, yeah, uh, and my mom uh, just, uh, my mom broke her ankle. So uh, if there's some, uh, if there's some fans of my mom, uh, give throw, throw a little prayer for her. Uh, for sure. She is a, she is a hard headed Italian and a broken ankle doesn't go too well with hard headed Italians. So she's, uh, she's trying to walk around and do this and do that. And it's just not working out. So it's been kind of a struggle the last couple of days, but, um, but yeah, no, we're ready to go. Uh, I'm back to make some ribeye sausage, uh, cut some more lane trains and, uh, Take advantage of the freezer being three dollars off this weekend. I mean, there's a lot of burgers, sausage, fish, um, I, I just ch chicken breasts. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff over there. So, uh, but yeah, we'll be ready, and uh, hopefully the Super Bowl and what not next weekend, but the next. Yeah, two weeks until the Super Bowl, so we'll we'll take next week off on the big show, and then we'll get back together and we'll have our uh, our Super Bowl preview, and we'll probably tailgate preview. We'll talk about some recipes and that kind of thing. Maybe even get some questions from Rebel Grove subscribers about ideas for, uh, for yeah. Super, Bowl, Super Bowl menu and that kind of thing. Caroline, what you got planned for the weekend? I have a training for Kaya tomorrow from 9 to 5. I have to teach dance tonight. And about it. It's working. Oh. Okay. Big weekend for you too. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I hope everybody enjoys the weekend. Good, good luck to your mom, Greg. Tell her if she needs some... Uh, crutch lessons if oh she, man if she needs some lessons for her crutches your boy's got her taken care of I, I'm, yeah man really. i'm whipping around like nobody's business now man i'm i'm like winning crutch races i'm ready well, to she told me that they just put her in like a stationary cast so it's a lot lot better but uh yeah it was a struggle there for a couple of days well we wish her the best thanks to uh thanks to everybody for listening for watching uh, as we uh, wind down season, what is this, season three of The Butcher versus The uh, the Dance Instructor. So uh, we'll be back in two weeks. We'll get you ready for the Super Bowl. Until then, for Caroline, for Greg, I'm Neil. Take care.